Modelled on one of only a few tube-powered units ever made, the Waves Oral Exciter plugin delivers all the unique character of the hardware unit with all the advantages of software. The original Oral Exciter was highly regarded for its ability to increase and enhance presence, brightness and vibrancy on vocal and instrument tracks alike. I want to spend a few minutes with you, taking you through the plugin and giving you some ideas so you can get the best out of this plugin in your sessions. So let's take a quick look at the plugin. On the far left hand side under mode, we're in BP mode right now. BP means bypass. This doesn't act as a pure bypass, rather it models the bypass model of the original hardware. This means you're still getting some subtle coloring like the real hardware unit. Now let's work back from the other way. Axe mode is what you want to use on a send return, so on an auxiliary track that you're sending audio through. This is a great option when you want to automate the send to change the effect throughout the track. You're also going to notice if you're in axe mode, the axe mix is bypassed. You can't move it because it's automatically going to put it on 10. Use mix 2 as an insert because what it does is recreate the hardware unit's mix mode for that exact purpose. If you want to get the same kind of effect as axe, but you want it on an insert, use mix 1. Mix 1 is an insert that recreates the hardware unit send return mode, so it gives you the same kind of effect if you want to stick something straight on a track. Like all of our model plugins, over on the right hand side you've got mains control. So you can either have the mains off 50 Hz or 60 Hz, depending on the effect and the sound that you want. You can also then control exactly how much noise you are getting from the original unit all the way to off. Now let's have a listen to the intro vocals by themselves. This is just the vocals. These were recorded hot, but I still want to give them some effect so that they really cut at the beginning of the mix. It could be forever, girl. Or it could be... Now, as you can see, I've got an EQ and I've got a compressor surrounding the Aphex. Now, if I bring in the Aphex, as you can see, I'm using it on mix one right now. Have a listen to what it does. It really makes it cut through. It could be forever, girl, or it could be for just one night. Now to control that a bit, let's bring in the EQ and bring in the compressor. Now if we put that in the mix... It could be forever, girl, or it could be for just one night. You want my heart forever, girl. This is the kind of plugin where I'm not often paying attention to the VUs and looking at them. I'm paying attention to my ears and making sure that the effect that I'm after is what I'm getting. This is what I'm after. I wanted that cut at the intro for those vocals. Now let's take a quick look at the main vocal before I show you a couple of things with guitars and drums. I'm using this one in mix one mode and I've got the meter set to axe. I've got my mains off and I've got my noise off and I've got axe mix set to around seven. I'm finding that between five and eight is my sweet spot for vocals, but it's gonna change for you depending on what you're actually doing. You'll see I've also got my output set to default, which is zero. Uh, in this case for me, it works well because as you can see, I'm also EQing it and I've got Arvox after it to give me a bit more presence once I've got Aphex on there. So let me bypass it for a second so you can hear what it sounds like. You look me up and down and side to side you try to see what is wrong and what is right, but most of all, you want to know. It's giving me just a bit more presence, and on top of that, what it's doing is it's giving me a teeny weeny bit of grunge, which is one of the things I love about the Oral Exciter, and it's going to cut it through really, really nicely. Let's go back to the acoustic guitar for a second and really pay attention to what I'm doing. You can tell as I add more input, it gives it a bit more grunge. Now, because I'm using MV2 after it, it's controlling it as well nicely. If I take that off, it's much better with it in. So you might want to put a compressor after this or a low level, high level like the MV2. It really adds an extra bit of fatness. You'll also see on this one, I'm using it in axe mode, which is usually for a send. But if you want something that gives you a nice high pass as well as a bit of grunge and the real exciter effect, this is a great way of using it. Forever, girl, or it could be for just one night. You... 
Now, let's move on to one of the drum tracks. Okay, so here we have a hand clap. Yep, sounds like a hand clap to me, and I'm gonna need to add a lot more presence to that. So, as you can see, right now I'm bypassed, but I've also got it on default. Now, when you first open the plugin, it's automatically gonna put it in mix one mode for you, and right now, that's exactly what I'm after. Straight out of the bat, that's what it does. It's not quite what I want. So I'm gonna bring my ax mix down to maybe about five and a half, six, and I'm gonna take my input and I'm gonna crank it. Take it up to about 12. Make it 15. Now, I'm gonna add a low level, high level after it because that's gonna give me a teeny weeny bit more oomph. Now we're talking. So now when I add it back in the mix. The track is coming along. Now let's go and have a listen to what's going on with the 808s and the drums. The kick is not the most prominent part of this track, but I definitely want it to be heard. It's already very, very dirty. Have a listen to this. Love that. Now, all I want to do is make it stick out a bit more. So we're going to use mix two. I'm going to put my input up to around three and my X mix is going to go all the way to 10. That's sounding a bit better. Have a listen to it before I stick that plugin in. Most of all, you want to know if I will run Right after I've used you up to have my fun Please don't ask, cause I don't know So there you go. One kick given more presence with one plugin. There are just a few ways for you to use the Waves Apex Vintage Oral Exciter in your sessions.